researchers and policymakers are should be working together, and a lot of times. Um, their structures and systems are put in place that, that have, um, that kind of disallow that at, at times and so researchers uh, are, are in a system that, um, you know, their research may not always resonate with policymakers or be in a format that is, that is accessible to policymakers and so that's something that is quite important. Right? You need to form relationships, you need to develop trust, you need to, um, you know, uh, communicate, and it's really essentially these relationships are about quid pro quo. How do we um, recognize the win-win situations where my evidence is useful for your practice or your policy context? And then how do we make sure we trust each other to share our needs and vulnerabilities, frankly, and on both sides? So if you don't know something, you are giving me a little bit of power by telling me you don't know this. And if my research isn't perfect, I'm giving you a little bit of power by saying, you know what, this, this gets us to here, but frankly, it doesn't get us all the way to where you need to be. Policymakers um, are on different timelines than researchers as well, so we have to think about the timelines the policymakers are on, where it's usually you know short timelines, two to four years, or research sometimes takes you know five, eight years, ten years at times, depending on the type of research, um, to actually get results. And so there is a disconnect, and, and it's not because they don't want to work together, but it's, it's structural. And so if you can get researchers uh, and policymakers in the same room. Researchers will start to know. Well, here's the here's the problems as policymakers that they have, and then start to gear research towards that. But policymakers also have to be respect, you know, full of the timelines that researchers are under as well. And so it's challenging. Um, but when you think about KT and some of the principles, I think you know, putting that on a backdrop of knowledge translation makes things a little bit easier. You know, I think the relationship and the, the one I try to foster with my policy partners is make um, the evidence as compelling as possible and link it to the story that they're trying to tell or develop, um, you know, whatever it is, a policy brief, um, you know, uh, they have the year of the minister for that one moment in time, how do, they, how do they get this research embedded into the bigger narrative of the policy that they're trying to develop. So I, I really think it's, it's uh, you know, it should be sort of a pathway um, from evidence to narrative.